Hey guys, Mr. B here again with another demonstration slash lab activity. Uh, this is one that you guys can do at home and I would highly recommend because it's quite tasty. So one of the things that we were talking about in this last module were uh, solutions. We were talking about solutions, the properties of liquids. And one category that we specifically mentioned was colligative properties. These are properties that are affected by how much of a substance is dissolved in a liquid. So when you dissolve a non-volatile substance, usually some kind of salt, it is going to change the properties of that liquid. Colligative properties change a few things, but the main one we're going to talk about is how it changes the boiling point and the freezing point of the liquid. So boiling point can change. It is elevated when we add a salt which is why we add salt to our water when we're cooking spaghetti, because it raises the boiling point, and therefore the water can be hotter than 100 degrees Celsius and make our cooking go faster. On the flip side of it, our boiling point is elevated, our freezing point is depressed or lowered. Essentially, we're, we're expanding the range of temperatures that our liquid can exist at. So our freezing point of water is usually zero, but when we add some type of solute to it, it can actually be lowered. So instead of freezing at zero degrees Celsius, we can lower it to less than that, which is why we often use salt on our roads whenever it gets really cold and when we're freezing, so that the uh, ice on the roads can actually exist as a liquid instead of a solid. So the temperature of the, the water on the roads is still below zero, below freezing, but it hasn't froze yet because of this. So one tasty application of this is making homemade ice cream. So we've got our ice cream uh, uh, rock salt, and we're going to give that a shot. So on the uh, Canvas page, you'll see the little lab handout. Feel free to give that a try. I'm going to take some temperature recordings as we go. Um, but yeah, try this at home. So what you're going to need is two Ziploc bags. You'll need a large gallon Ziploc bag and a smaller quart size uh, Ziploc bag. This is the one that the ice cream is going to actually be made in, and we're going to put it inside of this one. Next up, you're going to need your milk or cream. I've got half cup. Uh, whole milk usually works better. Okay, uh, If you have some kind of maybe heavy cream, uh, that works pretty good. Uh, the main thing is don't do skim. It stays pretty runny. So I'm just going to stick that milk right in there. Okay. And we don't want it to just be milk, we want to be, have a little bit of flavor. So we're also going to add two tablespoons of sugar. So just a big scoop of uh, sugar here. So I'm, ooh, that's a heaping scoop right there. Okay. So two scoops of sugar in there. Mm. And these, these amounts are fairly arbitrary. You can, you can mix it up a little bit. And then also a little bit of flavor. I have a vanilla. This is clear imitation vanilla. You can get the dark vanilla. It's, it's whatever. Now, it says to do about uh, three drops of vanilla. Mine doesn't have a little dropper, so I'm just gonna have to be real careful and just put a little bit in. Okay, so just a little spritz, if you would. Okay, so that's all of the um, solution that I've got right there. I'll mix it around a little bit. And for science sake, we're also going to be keeping track of some temperature recordings. So I'll go ahead and make sure I've got a clean thermometer here and I'll be keeping track of the temperatures for you, just to give you an idea of about uh, what temperatures we're dealing with. Now I will say the milk that I had was in the refrigerator, so it's probably gonna be a little bit lower than we might expect. Looks like it's dropping. Um, it's about 13 degrees right now. Uh, it might drop, have dropped a little bit more if I left it longer, but what we're gonna do next, seal that sucker up. Okay, try and get most of the air out, okay? And the main thing is you do not want this bag to burst, okay? You don't want this to open. So I'm gonna mix that around a little bit more. Okay, so this is our actual ice cream, right? Now we need what's gonna make the ice cream. We're going to cool it down with some ice. So I've just got a big old thing of ice. I'm just gonna toss that right in here. Just a good bit of ice there. Now, what temperature do you think this ice is going to be at? Well, ice freezes at zero degrees Celsius, so that's probably what our temperature is going to be. Now, the tricky part with this is the thermometer doesn't necessarily pick up 
the exact temperature of the solid, it's going to take the temperature of what's contacting it. So as long as I'm contacting the ice, it should go down to zero, um, but it might be a little bit difficult to do that. So it's going down. So right now it's a little bit above five degrees Celsius. Okay. And it's going to keep dropping. So it should probably reach about zero ish or, or probably one or two degrees higher. Okay. So this is going to be what we're doing. So whenever we're making ice cream, what do you add? Well, we add salt. So I've got some rock salt here. Uh, you can use just regular salt as well. Um, but I have happen to have some ice cream salt on hand and the actual amount uh, isn't super important as long as you get a lot, okay, a good bit. It says about six scoops, six uh, tablespoons as well, so you can use a scoop of this as well. So I'm just going to do that. And notice how arbitrary. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so fairly arbitrary. And I'm going to just for extra measure, I'm going to put some actual salt, okay, the smaller stuff. So I'll actually have seven scoops or seven tablespoons. Okay, now you're going to want to mix that up a little bit, okay, and I'll take the temperature of this as well. Okay. Mix this up a little bit. This is going to take a moment, so I'll probably speed this up. Okay, so this actually is already at negative, mm, it's about negative six degrees Celsius. So just by adding the salt, we didn't actually decrease the temperature itself, but instead we allowed the liquid to go at a lower temperature than the solid. Now this next part is very important. I'm going to clean my thermometer off because I'm going to put this back in the bag and I do not want my ice cream, ice cream to be very salty. Okay, now for the fun part. Put smaller bag into the bigger bag. Seal your bigger bag. Okay, try and get a good bit of the air out. Okay, and you're just going to shake this up. Okay, mix it around real good and use your hands a little bit. Um, if you want to use like a towel or something to surround it with because uh, this is going to get real cold. So I'm probably going to fast forward through this bit. Uh, but essentially just keep checking every once in a while and see if it's the consistency, if it's the texture you want. Uh, and it'll continue to get colder and colder. Okay, here we go. Something you'll notice rather quickly is that the ice itself starts to melt. You might be saying, oh, well, that's just because our hands are getting cold, it's actually melting. Well, remember, it's colligative properties. The freezing point of the water is lower. So I do have quite a bit of liquid in the bottom there, okay? But that is actually less than zero degrees Celsius. More mixing. I'm going to take a look at it real quick. I don't think it's done, but let's take a look. Okay. So take a, take a break every once in a while and just sort of feel it. It is starting to get a little bit uh, more um, thick, okay, but it's not quite done yet. Okay, I think that's about done. 
let me check the temperature this time. And this time, I'm gonna take the temperature of the actual ice cream mixture. So it's not gonna be exactly like the ice cream you're used to, but you'll have made it and it actually tastes pretty good, especially with all that sugar that we added. Uh, let's see, this is, right now it's at negative, let's say it's about negative three degrees Celsius. So it's not quite as cold as the ice itself, right, the, the ice and the salt, but it is colder than freezing now. And this is where we get this nice cold mixture. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. And there you have it.